Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today's video I wanted to bring you guys into my closet again. But I wanted to talk about my best purchases. I want to say luxury purchases because luxury to everyone is completely different. Um, some may think a thousand dollars is not a lot. Some may think it is a lot. So I'm gonna go into my best purchases purchases so it doesn't necessarily mean that it is designer it could just be the quality is really good um, or it's something that I feel like is a classic piece that can go throughout my wardrobe for a long time you guys know I'm really big on buying pieces that are long-lasting yes I will buy some trends here and there but majority of the time this is how I'm shopping. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to jump and start with my boots from Sam Edelman. And these are their iconic boots. Okay. Um, I, I forget the name of them though. I don't know why I forgot the name. It just had a brain freeze. The reason why I love these boots, guys, is because they're stretch leather. I was never a big fan of stretch leather because I thought it looked extremely cheap. Um, so, but these were in the, I want to say $900, but it's worth it. The inside of the boot has satin. They are thigh high. And I want to say thigh high, but not like super thigh high because I am six feet tall, but they do go way over my knees. Um, they have a nice chunky heel. It's like a nice rounded point. Something that will last for a long time it's not super round and it's not super pointy so this is something that I feel will last me for a long time and will be in my wardrobe for a long time so this to me is a great purchase for anyone trying to start out a boot collection right um, I, I have seen girls who are plus size who have these one girl said that she didn't like how they looked on her but I actually did like how they looked on her um, I thought they looked fine on her legs. So if you are plus size, try them out too. They have the strings. And they're just a really nice boot. They're really good quality. And I think that this is one of my best purchases. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. Those were in, like I said, almost a thousand dollars. Um... And I'm going to just get away from the boots <laughs> and I'm going to jump into my bags really quick. And the bags, it's these, I'm going to point out these two right away. It's my YSL clutch and you guys know I got this from the outlet in Fort Lauderdale. The day that I purchased this, this is just a quick story time, I was looking online and someone had this bag on YouTube in like a, a, like a cobalt blue. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. It doesn't have any hardware. It's perfect. It's very subtle, right? Um, but it was like sold out, like not sold out, just continued. I went to Orlando, to the outlets in Orlando, just to shop around. And I don't know, in the morning I wanted to drive to Fort Lauderdale and I did. And as soon as I got into the YSL outlet, I saw them. And I was like, oh my God, I need to get them. And these were not, they were like 500 or 550, something like that. I don't even think they were $600. But let me tell you, perfect, perfect. I got them in two colors. I got it in two colors because why not, right? <laughs> so I got like a peanut butter-ish color and then I got it in black. Now, it's a good purchase for me because, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's super trendy or not. This is something that I can wear a lot of the times with a lot of the things in my wardrobe. It's not about trendy, it's about how many times I can wear this. So, yes guys. And to be quite honest, they probably still have these. So those are two bags that I absolutely love and a good purchase. And like I said, they were like five a piece, maybe five fifty. Um, and that's it. Let me see if I can. 
all right so those are five something great purchase things that i can go with a majority of the things in my wardrobe the other two bags i want to show you and you guys already seen this is my monster garbiel it's not super high end but the quality of these bags i got this in white and i have it in like this tan topish color amazing quality you guys know my issue with the shipping <laughs> the last time um but someone did comment on one of my videos and said that they bought something recently that was a newer bag and they they didn't have a box either so i guess i got to you know take my my anger back but really nice bag good quality i think these were hmm 650 not bad but to me this packs a punch in my wardrobe okay yes and if you guys notice the majority of the things that i'm showing you are not they're more like a classic piece they're not logos everywhere um things that i know that i can wear and have for a really long time and you guys know i purchased the other one in white um i keep the white one in the bag even though i have stuff inside glasses i still feel like i don't know it gets a little dusty in there and here's the white one the bags are they're really nice i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna <laughs> hate on the, the company i really like their bags um and i think all women should have a white bag i definitely want a shoulder white bag but the clutch um was something that i already had on my list so i got it and okay all right so those are my bags everything else well, this is a this is a good purchase too and i'm gonna tell you why not this gucci this was a good purchase as well this gucci bag because it's like a double two in one i don't have to wear this i can just wear it like this if i wanted to I don't really like mini bags but this is not super mini for my height um six feet girl should not be wearing tiny bags i'm sorry guys let's fight in the comments <laughs> but i just think it looks a little weird so we have to get size appropriate bags for us those mini mini bags they're just not i don't know i just don't like them on us but this is another great purchase i wish i would have gotten it in green as well now this was even at the outlet it was like 1800 i believe 1800 and they had a beautiful green color now to be quite honest if i was to find it i would still get it because i do like the fact that i can do two different things with it wear it with and without the strap so that's another great purchase for me um all right so those are the bags okay <laughs> those are the bags um let me close this out those are the bags those are the boots now jackets you guys know the frankie shop please uh leather is not a leather coat <laughs> so a great purchase for me would be the one from Koss. I'm just gonna grab it to show you guys really quick. You guys did see a video of it already, but I'm just gonna grab it off of this rack over here and show you guys again. This is a great, great purchase. It is leather. It is going to last me. It is considered oversized, but on my body type, it is not super oversized. But the good thing about it is that the sleeves are extremely long it's butter soft it's a great purchase this was 900 plus um the frankie shop one much more trendy much cheaper <laughs> and it's faux leather so great pick something that's going to last me for a really long time and good quality all right so let's put this back and then let's grab my my other jacket which I'm going to 
don't kill me guys because I'm over here in this corner this is my other jacket I don't know why I didn't have it out for you guys but this is the one by Remain this is the peanut butter color one another trench coat guys I caught this on sale so it was in my bucket but it so happened to go on sale randomly and I was super happy and they still had my size but this is another good quality coat and another good luxury purchase for me and my wardrobe solid color something that I could wear multiple times um, again luxury is something different to everyone some people like logos everywhere <laughs> and some people <laughs> like a few logos and just a lot of classic good quality pieces okay um, I'm gonna grab these other two jackets for you guys so you guys can see it as well so I'm all walking out of the frame but you guys can still hear me so let's do this all right so that's those two jackets great quality leather um now <laughs> let's get into two other jackets blazers I don't even think I unboxed this one for you guys yet but it's okay I don't think I am since I'll show you guys here are some quality now Lamarck is not a high-end brand but I definitely think their quality is top-notch my two leather blazers my ivory one and I have a black one now I think I told you guys I wanted to buy a black one um, because I really, really like the ivory one. And to be quite honest, I'm probably going to get another one because they're just extremely nice. <laughs> they're extremely nice. Um, I may go ahead and get like a, what color? They have a green one that's really nice. Um, I may get a green one or I may get this other color that's similar to my other crop blazer um, but these are two other purchases that I feel are great luxury purchases for me and like I said luxury is different for everyone so <laughs> don't be in my comments talking about that's not luxury um, it means something different to everyone okay and so those are my two blazers and then, hold on, let me grab this other jacket. Okay. And here is my Frankie Shop trench coat. Let me tell you, if you guys do not have a trench coat in your closet, please check out the Frankie Shop. They have really, really nice trench coats. Now, these do have shoulder pads, so it's more on trend, but it's not that bad. It is extremely oversized, but guys, this jacket is really good quality, okay? So another great purchase for my wardrobe. It works well with my wardrobe. And I wanna say my last thing that I'm going to show you guys is You guys already seen this let me grab it <clears throat> I got a few things coming in that I'm gonna show you guys delivery has been really crappy with some of these um, companies but you guys know my infamous Gucci belt now this I'm not gonna say it's logo mania, but you guys know this chain belt is where it's at. I'm just gonna come a little closer so you guys can see. And I showed you guys this a couple of weeks ago, but this is one of my best, bestesses <laughs> purchases. And the reason why is because I've been looking for a chain belt for the longest. And I know a lot of people have the Chanel one, which will be nice, right? 
but for whatever reason I never can find one that I actually really really like um so when this one popped up I was looking for something that was a hundred percent solid I wanted it to be not much um, I wanted to be able I wanted to be able to use it on multiple things being that this one has a lot of hoops in it you can pretty much put it in any hoop and wear the belt over anything and that's why I say cost per wear you can definitely wear this over jackets dresses hang it on your pants hang it over anything to elevate that outfit guys so that I just wanted to show you a few things that I feel that are my best luxury purchases um, even though like I said luxury means something different to everyone for me it could be a name brand uh, a designer brand or it can just be the quality of something um, and as you guys can see it has a lot to do really more so with the quality for my wardrobe guys but that is it I wanted to show you some quick little purchases that I have purchased within the past year I want to say um, and it's my best luxury purchases so if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my blog guys Coco Styles NYC and my personal style and services that are virtual um, Coco Styles NY and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys